हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ आशीष एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द थर्ड यूनिक प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम अ ब्लैक बुक ऑलरेडी वी हैव डन टू सेशन एंड इन दिस थर्ड सेशन आई एम शोइंग यू वन क्वेश्चन विच इज हैविंग मल्टीपल रिएक्शन सिक्वेंसेज या दिस इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज वन कंपाउंड गिवन एम with the molecular formula C7H8 and instruction mentioned is the compound is acyclic and non conjugated compound means compound is open chain and there is no conjugation when uh, any come question uh, suppose uh, molecular formula is given first pri the primary duty in such cases to find the degree of unsaturation degree of unsaturation of this compound is uh, 2C Plus two minus number of hydrogen divided by two. Two C means seven uh, to the fourteen plus two sixteen minus eight. It means eight by two. Degree of unsaturation is basically four. And degree of unsaturation four meaning is either the compound is having multiple bond or a ring or both. But in instruction it is very much clear the compound is acyclic means there is no ring. in the compound compound is only having multiple bonds multiple bond at uh, the compound may have a double bond or compound may have triple bond because degree of unsaturation is anyway four so it can have double bond or triple bond now you need to uh, read another instruction the first reaction reagent is a sodium in liquid ammonia it means a birch reduction birch reduction meaning is ke minimum one term one uh, triple bond should be non terminal because the triple bond which is present on terminal carbon they never show birch reduction it means oh, the sodium liquid ammonia birch reduction is the characteristic of triple bond which is non terminal so the point is very much clear ki one triple bond is a non terminal second instruction one triple bond mean out of four degree of unsaturation two degree of unsaturation is covered now still two more degree of unsaturations are left over now in this instruction i have mentioned give white precipitate with aqueous ammonical silver nitrate means this is the property of a terminal alkyne this is the property of a terminal alkyne means now the picture is a bit more clear compound is having two triple bond one triple bond is a non terminal one triple bond is a terminal and as you suppose keep two triple bond in the compound degree of unsaturation 4 is covered so now the one small picture uh, we have, what we have is in c7h8 compound is open chain two triple bond one non terminal one terminal triple bond and both term, uh, triple bonds are non conjugated right so if you try to write a structure of this compound c7h8 in a straight chain manner 5 6 7 1 triple bond is a terminal because giving white precipitate other is a non terminal and that should be non conjugated means both triple bond should not be in resonance so another triple bond i can keep here or another triple bond i can keep like here so two structures are possible for c7 nh now student say sir why only two structure if you go for a six member ring okay right i'll try for a six member ring one methyl i'll keep like a branch right one more structure and like this so out of uh, these two structure one triple bond uh, i need to keep a terminal only this terminal is possible because if you keep on left terminal the compound if a carbon valency will exceed one like a terminal other should be non terminal and non conjugated which is not possible if you keep here one triple bond that will be conjugated right here if you keep that will be non conjugated but carbon valency will exceed it means that this structure is not following the given instruction so that is a wrong picture here i can't keep uh, two triple bond in this case one uh, terminal one non terminal i can keep here only because uh, only one terminal and one non terminal so this picture is okay right 
बोले सर देन वाई नॉट सर लाइक फाइव मेंबर स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू कीप फाइव मेंबर टू कार्बन लेफ्ट ओवर दे विल बी लाइक साइड चेन यू कैन कीप लाइक दिस यू कैन कीप लाइक दिस यू कैन कीप लाइक इथाइल मैनी पिक्चर्स यू कैन फ्रेम बट इफ यू ट्राई टू कीप टू ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इन द पिक्चर यू कैन नॉट ए वन नॉन वन टर्मिनल नाउ अदर इज नॉन टर्मिनल यू कैन नॉट कीप कार्बन वैलेंसी विल एक्सीड वन टर्मिनल वन नॉन टर्मिनल यू कैन नॉट कीप एट एनी पोजिशन हेयर नाइदर टर्मिनल नॉर नॉन टर्मिनल यू कैन नॉट कीप एनी वन ऑफ दैम हेयर वन टर्मिनल नाउ यू कैन नॉट कीप नॉन टर्मिनल मीन्स दीज ऑल पिक्चर्स आर जस्ट वेस्ट फॉर मी राइट सो रिमूव दोज पिक्चर्स राइट नाउ दिस पिक्चर इज ऑल्सो वेस्ट रिमूव दिस पिक्चर ऑल्सो out of these three pictures now we need to check another sequence right so the idea is now clear if i move for uh, next point here we have complete hydrogenation if i go for complete hydrogenation the first compound will give a straight chain of a seven member and the second compound after a complete hydrogenation will give this picture and that should be compound c7h16 right uh, the, the compound is completely hydrogenated now after this q compound if we go for bromination they are simply saying six mono bromo product we should get six mono bromo if i do bromination here if i do bromination mono bromination here no chiral center is generated we will get only one bromo here if i keep bromine here chiral center will generate you will get two mono bromo if i keep bromine here again i'll get chiral center two mono bromo if i keep bromine here no chiral center left is propyl right is propyl side no chiral center only one here i am getting total six mono bromo product if i keep one bromine here here will get chiral center so two if i keep a bromine here now two will become chiral center so answer will be four if i keep a bromine here again you will get chiral center so two more if you keep a bromine here again chiral center two more if you keep a bromine here you will get four both will become chiral center if you keep here again four means if you keep here again you have again here only two so it's more 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 than 6 2 plus 4 6 2 8 plus 2 10 14 18 20 uh, it's a waste one it means now more picture is clear this compound is a waste for me right slowly slowly i am getting the real picture so now compound should be either this one or this one right if you go for this uh, cro3 this is aromatization picture right for this compound saturated compound if i go for aromatization picture then from a seven member chain from seven member chain first a six member a ring generate with a one methyl outside and then if you go for aromatization will get compound toluene so c7h8 is a toluene this is compound r this is compound q right now if you go for a lindlar catalyst lindlar means a partial reduction both of the compound both of the compound will get only two double bond because lindlar is a partial reduction and in lindlar there is no meaning of that a triple bond is a terminal or non terminal both can be reduced only in birch reduction you need to be careful only non terminal can show birch reduction terminal alkyne won't show birch reduction so this is the basic idea of this uh, reaction uh, multiple reaction sequences now see the option they are asking to use the correct option p and n are geometrical isomers if you see p if you see n they are not even isomers then why to confuse they are even not isomers so first option is anyway wrong m and r are chain uh, ring chain isomers m is okay open chain two double bond two triple bond r is a toluene formula is the same c7h8 c7h8 one is open chain other one is ring yes absolutely they are ring chain isomer six geometrical isomers are possible for p 
इन पी कंपाउंड वन डबल बॉन्ड इज टर्मिनल एंड टर्मिनल डबल बॉन्ड वॉन्ट शो जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमरिज्म बिकॉज बोथ टर्मिनल आर हैविंग बोथ टर्मिनल वैलेंसीज आर सेम ओनली दिस डबल बॉन्ड कैन शो जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमरिज्म एंड वन डबल बॉन्ड मैक्सिमम कैन शो टू जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमरिज्म सो सी ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग नंबर ऑफ कार्बन इन पैरेंट चेन ऑफ क्यू इज सेवन Q compound is completely hydrogenated compound, and yes, absolutely, this compound is having seven carbon in the parent chain. Like this way, the question is solved. I think everyone uh, got this solution. So, uh, what you need to like focus in the question whenever the question comes in IIT JEE advanced paper, please read all the instructions very carefully. most of the question most in most of the question if you read instructions carefully the 40 50 per percent question you will solve during the reading part only during the reading only you will solve 40 50 percent question so reading is a main reading is mandatory in iit jee question uh, that is careful reading right so this is the third session in next session the next session uh, uh, what i am doing uh, the same reaction sequence and the second part of this reaction sequence i will discuss right thank you everyone thank you